Hey students, welcome back. This week, we're gonna be talking all about what happens in different types of weather. Listen to me sing a silly song and see if you can guess what type of weather is in the song. Rain, rain, go away, come again another day. Rain, rain, go away, little children want to play. I heard some rhyming words in there too. Did you hear the type of weather in the song? Rain is definitely a type of weather. So why do you think the children wanted the rain to go away? We need rain. We know that that helps plants grow, right? Helps a lot of things. But sometimes if you wanna go outside and play, rain can be a little tricky. What types of clothes might help keep you dry in the rain? Let's look at this picture. Maybe you might wear a jacket, a hat, and you might even use an umbrella. Those are all things that might help keep you dry when it's raining. Now let's read this sentence together. It's raining cats and dogs. I don't see any cats and dogs in that picture. That's silly. Can you imagine cats and dogs falling from the sky? As we can see from the picture, it's not actually raining cats and dogs. When we say that, we mean it's raining a lot. All right, now, in a minute, we're gonna read a really fun story. But before we do, there's some really fun words that we should talk about that will help us with our learning this week. The first one is predict. To predict is to make a guess about what will happen in the future. In this picture, the mom predicts that the girl will like this book. She's guessing she'll like it. Hmm, can you predict what the weather will be like tomorrow? Let's say this word together. Predict. All right, now let's clap it out. Predict. So once again, to predict something is to make a guess about what will happen in the future. Cool. This word is temperature. The temperature tells how hot or cold something is. In this picture, it's showing that the temperature is about 70 degrees. Hmm, I wonder what the temperature is like here right now. Let me look. The temperature here where we live right now is 77 degrees. That's pretty warm. We're lucky to have nice temperatures. And I wonder, did you predict that tomorrow will be a nice warm temperature also? We don't know for sure, but we can make a prediction. Now, let's read a really cool story about a type of weather. The story that we're going to read next takes place in Africa. So here we are on the globe in Hawaii Africa is way over here and it's very big. As you can see, this is Africa, where our story takes place. Another word for that is the setting. The setting of our story is Africa. And as we read, we're going to be thinking about the characters too. The people or animals or things that are in the story are the characters. So let's listen carefully. I wonder if we're going to have a favorite. This story is about a type of weather. It's about rain, as I can see up here from our title. And then down here, I see the author or the person who wrote the words in the story. Mena Stojic wrote the words in the story. That's the author. All right, and as we read, I'm gonna pause a couple times for us to really make a picture in our head. The words and stories can help us imagine what's happening and better understand what we're reading. Ready to read? I am. Rain by Manya Stojic. Now this is one of those big books, so I'm gonna try my best to make it so we can see the pictures and the words. Here we go. It was hot. Everything was hot and dry. The red soil 
was hot and dry and cracked. Mm. Let's pause and picture that in our head. I can imagine the dry, cracked soil and how hot it must be in the story where they are. Hmm. Let's keep reading. A porcupine sniffed around. That's a porcupine with those big, long quills. It's time, she whispered. The rain is coming. I can smell it. I must tell the zebras. Lightning flashed. The rain is coming, said the zebras. Porcupine can smell it. We can see it. We must tell the baboons. And as I'm reading, I notice all the spaces between each word makes it a lot easier to read. We can't forget to put the spaces between words. Thunder boomed. The rain is coming, cried the baboons. Porcupine can smell it. The zebras can see it. We can hear it. We must tell the rhino. Mm. Pretty interesting to think about the ways that the animals can tell the rain is coming. A raindrop splashed. The rain is here, said the rhino. Porcupine smelled it. The zebras saw it. The baboons heard it. And I felt it. I must tell the lion. The lion spoke in a deep purr. Yes, the rain is here. I can smell it. I can see it. I can hear it. And I can feel it. And, he sighed, I can taste it. I wonder what he means by that. How can he taste the rain? It rained and it rained and it rained. And I see the punctuation mark here at the end of the sentence, the period. It rained until every river gushed and gurgled. It rained until every water hole was full. And a water hole is a place like a pond that animals go to drink water. Then the rain stopped and everywhere long feathery grasses grew from the soil. We know that water helps plants grow. That makes sense. Every tree began to sprout fresh green leaves. Let's take a minute to imagine and make a picture in our head what it feels like right now in the story. The rain has stopped, the sun came out. It's probably getting warmer. I can't taste the rain now, purred the lion, but I can enjoy the shade of these big green leaves. And if we look at the lion in this picture, his face looks very content. He looks very happy. I can't feel the rain now, said the rhino, but I can lie in the cool, soft, squelchy mud. And there's the rhino enjoying the mud. When the rain came down to the red soil and mixed with it, it turned into mud. We can't hear the rain now, shouted the baboons, but we can eat fresh, juicy fruit from the trees. Oh, so the rain can be a good thing. Look at the baboons enjoying the fresh, juicy oranges that grew from the rain and the sun. We can't see the rain now, said the zebras but we can have a refreshing drink from the water hole. Hmm, so that's how they can taste the rain. They drink it from the watering hole. 
I can't smell the rain now, whispered the porcupine, but I know that it will come back again when it's time. Looking at all the animals, they look nice and happy. What a beautiful setting for our story to take place in. I'd like to learn more about Africa. And it was interesting to think about how the characters in our story, the animals, really used their five senses to figure out that the rain was coming. And then it was kind of cool to think about what they did after it rained. Let's look at the characters again that were in the story. We had the zebra, the baboons, the lion, and there's a couple more too, do you remember? We also had the porcupine with the long quills, and then the rhino that liked to play in the mud. Those are some of the characters in our story. Did you have a favorite? <laughs>